Hello and welcome everybody to this webcast. Now is the time to get started. Today you will watch the presentation about contact forces and kinematics of total knee arthroplasty during squatting. This is a Kyram simulation study which was performed by Corentech. And this webcast will run about 30 minutes from now. My name is Moon Gi-jung, who is working as Senior Application Engineer at Anybody Technology, and I will be the host of this webcast. And Mr. Jehon Ro, who is a Research Engineer at Corentech in South Korea, will be the main presenter. This is the schedule of this webcast. First, I will briefly introduce what Anybody Modeling System is. Next, the presenter will explain the background and the purpose of this study. After that, you can see the material and the method of this research that was implemented using anybody modeling system. And also you will see the simulation result and the discussion from this research. Finally, we will have the session for questions and answers. This slide is for those of you who haven't used this webinar system before. On the right side of your screen, you will see a control panel. It can be collapsed and expanded by pushing the red button. If you think of a question during the presentation, then please don't hold back and don't wait until the webinar is over. Just open the control panel and find the questions panel. Here you can write questions immediately. We will try to answer as many questions as possible at the end of the presentation. Some of our panelist members may also answer your questions directly. Or if your question is not addressed, we will try to do so by emails. Now, there will be a short introduction of anybody for those who are new to this technology. Then, what is anybody exactly? We usually divide it into software and model. For software, anybody modeling system, its abbreviation is usually there for AMS. This is the software which runs simulations of a human musculoskeletal system. And with this software, there is anybody managed the model repository, that is what we call AMMR. This contains various models including our full body human model and there is the library of various applications. Here you see a screenshot of the full body model in the middle and surrounding you see some details of the model. The model is the most detailed musculoskeletal model to be found and contains more than almost 1,000 individual muscle units. It's a generic model, parameterized in many ways. It's an open model that is validated and fully scalable. Open model means that it is open to be adapted to your particular needs. Everything in the model is accessible and documented with publications. So if you want to change muscles, bones, or joints, you can easily do that. Fully scalable means also that you can change the model from a typical European male to almost whatever you want the model to be like. Also, anybody supports a patient's specific scaling feature using bone geometry. Details can be found in our previous webcast. This slide explains the principle of anybody briefly. Anybody does an inverse dynamic simulation, which means that it requires motion and external forces as input in general. Of course, now anybody users have an option to predict the ground reaction forces as well. Using the muscle recruitment optimization server with various options of objective functions, then anybody calculates all the internal musculoskeletal values such as muscle forces, 
muscle activations, joint reaction forces, and so on. We see the wide range of applications, and these are the typical domains that any body modeling system can be applied to. Now, I will make Mr. Jehan Ro as the presenter in our GoToMeeting system. Hello everyone, I am Jehan Ro who is working as research engineer in Korean Tech. We thank for invitation from anybody technology and all audiences in this session. I will start the presentation about contact forces and kinematics of total knee arthroplasty during squatting a simulation study. I will introduce the background purpose of the study, materials and methods, results and discussions, limitations, and finally the conclusion. Contact mechanics and kinematics of total knee arthroplasty are important in both clinical and mechanical field. During activities in daily living, it is known that potential of failure and wear exists. The image below shows severe wear of the polyethylene tibial component. Here I want to introduce two different types of total knee replacement system about retaining cruciate ligament. CR type retains posterior cruciate ligament. On the other hand, in PS type, which means posteriorly stabilized, the PCL should be sacrificed. The geometry of these two types are different. For instance, in the PS type, the posts of tibial component and the cam of the femoral component will constrain the knee joint motion more similar to the kinematics of the normal knee during gait and knee bend. In reality, because the knee joint shows both translations and rotations in three anatomical axes, the sixth degree of freedom's knee joint simulation is necessary for precise analysis of EKA implanted musculoskeletal model. Therefore, the main purpose of this study is to construct the simulation framework using patient-specific computational musculoskeletal model for TKR evaluation with different activities of daily living, such as squat. The reason why this kind of computational simulation is necessary is that it is not always easy to acquire the real experimental data from subjects. And sometimes it is required to evaluate the performance of TKR design even during the design stage when real prototypes may not be available. The second purpose was to check whether the estimations of the knee contact dynamics and kinematics in tibial femoral and patellofemoral femoral joints can be achieved. Now I will explain the materials and the methods of this study. Regarding the subject, a male with OA knee went through CT scan. 3D surface geometry of femur and tibia were reconstructed using MIMIX version 16. Then these reconstructed 3D models could be exported to STL files. Musculoskeletal simulation was performed by antibody modeling system. Subject-specific scaling of antibody human model has been done for lower extremity segments such as femur and tibia and ground reaction forces were predicted because there is no experiment measurements. In the simulation, the geometry of LOSPA total knee replacement system was used, which is developed by orthopedic implant company Corentech. The femoral condyle of LOSPA is designed as spherical geometry, which means that femoral component has same radius in both frontal and sagittal plane. The spherical condyle and constrained liner design of LOSPA reduces contact stress and improves the knee joint stability. 
Moreover, ROSPA is de designed as single radius axis for articular stability with flexion during 0 to 90 degree flexion. And the rotated articular surface of the tibial component enables actual rotation of the femoral component. To implement the squat motion without motion capture data, knee flexion angle was selected as the main independent variable and it is driven from 15 to 100 degrees. To construct the six degrees of freedom's knee joint model, force dependent kinematics method was used in order to estimate secondary knee motions. Regarding the definitions of TKR context geometry, TBL insert component was divided into medial and lateral compartments so the medial and lateral contact forces could be estimated individually. To constrain six degree of freedom's knee joint, each of medial and lateral collateral ligaments, patellofemoral ligaments were constructed in 3D, uh, three bundle line elements. The stiffness and reference strain parameters were obtained from the study of Blankabrut. From this slide, you will see the examples of simulation results. First of all, you can see the animations of TKR's musculoskeletal model in anybody modeling system. Here we have tibial femoral contact force results. The black circle data points show total contact forces. Lateral contact forces are shown as orange circles and medial as blue circles. The results show that lateral forces become larger than medial after 48 degrees knee flexion during squatting. These are the results of patellofemoral contact forces. During flexion, we can see that the patellofemoral contact force increases linearly until the maximum flexion in this study. Compared to the previous study, the patellofemoral contact forces were overestimated at high flexion angle. Quadriceps forces show as similar as patellofemoral contact forces. It also increased linearly and overestimated compared to previous study at high flexion angle. This slide shows actual rotation results. Femoral component internally rotated until 0.8 degrees and then externally rotated as 1.8 degrees maximally. Our results were compared to the results from previous in vivo study of PS type total knee arthroplasty. AP translation was maximum 2.7 millimeters and minimum 0.1 millimeter during squatting simulation. Femoral components translated anteriorly until 65 degrees knee flexion and translate posteriorly until maximum knee flexion angle. Post-cam impingement has restricted the flexion and influenced to translate posteriorly. Here are some limitations of our study. First, better wrapping surfaces for muscles and ligaments should be needed. And current model was implemented using the TLEM version 1.2. So it will be better if the latest version, latest version of human lower body model can be available. And also ligament property calibration is needed. Here is the conclusion. We just finished our first step to construct the simulation framework of computational musculoskeletal TKR models for various evaluations using any body modeling system.
what we could extract from TKR musculoskeletal simulations are kinematics and dynamics for tibiofemoral and patellofemoral reasons. Also, ligament lengths and forces during the movement could be calculated. Well, this is the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much for your nice presentation, Mr. Jehon Ro. Now I will suggest a few closing remarks before we move on to the actual Q&A session. So this is a good time for you to write your questions on the question panel. The next Anybody webcast will be scheduled on the 3rd of November and its title is Modeling Human Exoskeleton Interaction with Anybody. You can see its picture on the right hand side. More detailed descriptions are available on our website so please check it afterwards. Also you can see many of our previous webcast recordings on our official YouTube channel. You can find it by searching Anybody Technology on YouTube website. On our official website, you can check our future events and also you can see the updated list of publications that you might be interested in. In our AnyScript website, you will see our wiki pages and forum where you can find a lot of useful supplementary information. If you want to ask any inquiries about software, license or technology, then please don't hesitate to write an email to sales at anybodytech.com. Also, there are some upcoming events. From October 9th, there will be IROS 2016 conference, which will be held in Daejeon, South Korea. And this is a flagship conference of IEEE. Anybody Technology will have our booth there, so if you have any plan to join this conference, then please feel free to visit us there. And from October 18th, there will be WeRob 2016 conference, which will be held in Segovia, Spain. This is the International Symposium on Wearable Robotics. Anybody Technology will have several presentations there. The title of our presentation is Metabolic Energy Consumption in a Box Lifting Task, a Parametric Study on the Assistive Torque. And the title of a poster presentation is Musculoskeletal Simulation of Soleus Ankle Exoskeleton for Countermeasured Exercise in Space. So we hope that many of the audience in this webcast would be also very interested in these interesting events.